Hello and welcome to Thaik 18. In this video, we are going to discuss about the introduction to KQL. So what is KQL? KQL stands for Kusto Query Language. KQL is a specialized query language developed by Microsoft for querying large data sets particularly in environments like Azure Data Explorer, Log Analytics, Microsoft Sentinel. KQL is designed to be both powerful and easy to use, making it an excellent tool for performing read-only queries that help extract insight from structured, semi-structured and unstructured data. There are certain key features of KQL, which is data filtering enables users to filter data efficiently using conditions to target specific information within massive data sets. And data aggregation, you can quickly summarize data with functions like count, sum, average and others to generate meaningful statistics. You can also do data transformations. KQL supports various transformation functions to manipulate data types, apply conditional logic and reshape results for better analysis and also it has some beautiful data visualizations you can render query results into visual formats like table charts bar graph trend chart pie charts and allowing for easy interpretation of the data so what makes kql unique here so there are certain features which is like simplicity kql use a straightforward SQL like syntax that makes it easy to learn and adopt even for those new coding languages. So if you are coming from the SQL background then it will be really easy for you to capture this. Even if you are a fresher to this one not a, no need to worry about that. The thing which I am going to cover on this series it will help you easily gear up on this KQL quickly. And efficiency. KQL is optimized for handling large scale data sets with high performance making it ideal for exploratory data analysis and troubleshooting. The main important thing is real-time analysis. KQL excels in real-time interactive querying, allowing you to explore and analyze data as it inflows, making it invaluable in scenarios like log analytics and security monitoring and telemetry data and real-time tracking. KQL is a backbone of many Microsoft tools allowing users to explore data and extract critical insights. Whether you are analyzing telemetry data, monitoring security logs, or querying events like storm events, KQL enables you to transform raw data into actionable information. This is really a powerful one. We'll dig deeper as we go further. So now overview of Azure Data Explorer and its use case. Azure Data Explorer is a fast and highly scalable data analysis service built by Microsoft to handle large volume of data from multiple sources. It is designed to empower users to perform interactive queries on massive data set, making it an ideal tool for applications where quick data analysis is the key. The key feature of Azure Data Explorer is real-time data ingestion. Right? So Azure Data Explorer can ingest large amount of the data from multiple sources in real time such as logs, telemetry, IoT data and business events. This is actually similar to what we have it in real time intelligence in Microsoft Fabric. High performance. So built for speed ADX, short reference to Azure Data Explorer, can query billions of records in just seconds, allowing users to explore data interactively and uncover insights quickly. KQL integration allowing users to perform powerful data querying, filtering and aggregations in a simple and effective way. So by learning this entire series, you will be able to work on Azure Data Explorer and also I am going to teach you about how you can take on in fabric real time intelligence. So it helps in both the ways. So the main backbone is KQL here. So there are certain use cases where you can use Azure Data Explorer as an example log and telemetry analysis. Azure Data Explorer is commonly used to analyze logs and telemetry data from applications, networks and systems. For example, IT team can monitor system performance, troubleshoot issues and detect security threats in real time. Time series data analysis. Azure Data Explorer is optimized for time series data, making it ideal for analyzing trends and patterns over time. 
whether you are working with financial data, IoT sensors data or telemetry from connected devices, ADX can handle it efficiently. IoT and manufacturing data. So ADX which is IoT Data Explorer is widely used in Internet of Things IoT devices domain to monitor and analyze data streams from connected devices. It enables manufacturers and engineers to gain insights into machine performance, detect anomalies and optimize operational efficiencies. So organizations use ADX to gain insights from business events which is the business analytics sales data and customer interaction. This helps business makers track KPIs, evaluate performance and identify opportunities for improvement. And last we have example with security monitoring. In tools like Microsoft Sentinel, ADX powers real-time log analysis for security monitoring and threat detection. It allows security team to detect anomalies and investigate security incidents quickly. As an example, in the context of the data watch we are going to use here, Storm Event Dataset, Azure Data Explorer could be used to ingest weather-related data from sensors, analyze storm patterns over time and provide real-time monitoring for severe weather conditions to help communities better prepare for natural disaster. So like we discussed, so what are the tools where we can use the KQL in Microsoft tools? Because KQL is kind of backbone for many different tools here. Like the Power Query, I already explained we can use in different different tools. Like we can use in a data flow, in Power BI, in Excel, as well as in Dynamic 365. Similar to that, KQL is also is backbone to multiple tools here. So it is deeply integrated across various Microsoft tools, enables users to extract valuable insight from massive data sets in real time. This is really big, massive data sets in real time. So its ability to handle complex queries efficiently make it as an essential tool for environments like log analytics, Microsoft Sentinel and more. So KQL is used in across many Microsoft tools as an example log analytics, helping teams monitor, troubleshoot and optimize system performance. And security monitoring enables real-time threat detections and incident response. Telemetry analysis, monitoring and analyzing IoT data, system performance and more. And data visualization supports complex queries that feed data into dashboards and reports for better decision making. KQL's flexibility and efficiency makes it an indispensable tool in Microsoft ecosystem, offering deep insights into data that drives business and security decisions. So data visualization is going to be a bigger part in our entire series because we can pin the real-time data visualizations into our regular Power BI dashboard itself. That is going to be a game changer which I'm going to cover in the further videos. So the course structure and benefit here. As a learner progress through this course, you will be able to gain hands-on experience with real-time data. I mean, this is how it will look like. So that's what we are not going to cover the real-time. We'll cover that when the real-time demo, but during the initial KQL course, we are going to work on the existing sample data set itself. So learn to write, learn to write optimized queries for a specific data analysis needs build foundational languages that leads into more complex KQL topics like joins, aggregations and performance tuning. So as a hands-on experience, you can also go along with me. You need to log into Azure Data Explorer sample cluster. With this link, you can also do that. So if you just want to run your first query, just type the name of the table and then you need to use pipe take 10, which I'm going to cover that in future videos.